going to be doing bag and bread. Actually, Alex, Bernie's bag and bread. And even little Akira was going to make some, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. And here's Letitia. She's going to be baking the bread today as well as Akira. Just to show you how <laughs> no, easy no, it is. No, 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 I don't want that as you know. Ah, <laughs> I'm the evil auntie. First no. thing now, we have to heat up the water and put the oven on. Whilst that's warming up, you can measure out your flour and grease and flour your tin. And what's Akira going to do? What are you going to do, Akira? Be a distraction! Yay! No! Um, when you the bread! Yes, you're going to need the bread, aren't you? Make sure that this is hand hot, Letitia. It's still nice and warm. It's not too hot yet. When it's hand hot, it becomes uncomfortable. It'll be hot, but it'll burn a little bit. So if it's too hot, then you'll, you'll know to put a little bit of cold water in. Now, the oven's warming up nicely. It's on its lowest heat. Letitia's going to measure out the flour into the bowl. Okay. How much are we using? We're going to be using three pounds of flour. So this is a bag. It's 1.5 kilograms of flour, which is 3.3 pounds. So you measure out nearly all of this bag. So if you put your thumb here, and yeah, and pour, yeah, pour most of that out. I don't know if that gives you any idea. So well, you might, you might want to put your thumb here at the bottom. Yeah. So leave about a quarter of the bag. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. And pour, what, pour it out. Pour would it, it be bowl. worth mentioning to the people what type of flour this is? Well. Of course, you can use plain white flour if you like, but I prefer the wholemeal flour, although you can have a mixture of wholemeal and white. There are so many variations, although we love the wholemeal flour here, it's very funny. Wholemeal's pretty good. Is that enough? Okay, so actually you need to put in two teaspoons of salt. I'll go get the salt. Whilst I'm doing that, whilst I'm getting the salt, could you grease and flour those loaf tins? You can use a bit of that paper for the tin. In bread, usually there's no oil, although it is nice to have oil in the bread. I like to use sunflower oil because it's full of um, vitamin E and uh, essential oils as well, so it's really quite good for your brain. <laughs> um, and also, if you do put oil in the dough, it, it helps it not to be so sticky. But it's optional, you don't need to put oil in the dough. Okay, so don't forget to flour the tins once you've oiled them. And whilst you're doing that, don't forget, you need to put in about a tablespoon of sugar in that jug. A tablespoon, is that just like... In the jug. To recap, we've got practically a bag of flour, two teaspoons of salt, one level dessert spoon of sugar. Actually, it's a bit uncomfortable, yeah, that must be hard. Mm. Let me test it. Oh, it's perfect. What you need to do now, though, is dissolve some sugar with, is with some hot water. Just pour some hot water in the jug. Just, you know. Like a tad? Like yeah, half yeah, a cup? Yeah. Half, half of that, less than half of that. Dissolve it. Okay. <laughs> like that much? <laughs> yes, that will do, Letitia. Stir it up, quick, 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 quick. Now, Letitia is dissolving the sugar in the water. Now you're going to stick your finger in there again just to test the temperature before you put the yeast in. Now fine. this is the most important part. Yes, quickly put the yeast in. What? How many? How four many teaspoons? teaspoons? Get it? Four, four teaspoons of yeast. That's a really nice flour right here. Okay. It's good job I wrote this book, isn't it? Because then even I can look at the uh, recipe. One. The yeast is going in. Level or what? Two, three, four. No so way. actually you can put away the, you won't need the sugar, you won't need the oil, you won't need the salt. What's the yeast doing? Doing nicely. It's nearly ready. But look, the yeast is completely like bubbling up. It looks like some, I don't know what it looks like. What does it look like? It looks like yeast and it's ready for you to use now. So you can stir it up and mix it in with the flour. With a spoon or my hands? With a spoon. So why did the yeast froth up like this? You didn't stir it up though, did you? But oh. never mind. Stir it, no, uh, uh, uh. stir it up, put water in here in the jug and put the jug into the bowl. Quick, 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 quick. Hey, okay, hey. Okay. It's all to do with getting the mixture in whilst it's warm. Filling the water. You're supposed to do that over, not over the top, but over the top. 
More water, more water, keep keep mixing. Why does the yeast froth up like that? The yeast interacts with the sugar when it just starts to rise. The sugar and the and the warmth of the water. That's why it's very important to get the correct temperature. Not too hot and not too cold. Uh, you can start kneading now. And the great thing, guys, about kneading is that it's really good exercise for the body and the wrists. All of these joints that we don't normally use. The wrists, the elbows and the shoulders. It's very good movement. Look at that. Do this enough. Is that where you got your biceps from then, Tish? Yeah, no. It's the bread bicep. <laughs> Um, and if um, Akira wants to need some bread now, she may. Would you like to need some bread, Akira? Oh, but then you finish the drawing. Okay, then first you finish the drawing and then you can do some kneading. I'm, I'm going to be finished. Finish! Yeah, <laughs> it's <that's> rapido. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm going to do that. You want to steal, Akira? That's right, isn't it nice, Akira? Do you want to say how to do it, baby? She just can do it. She's already doing it. I don't need to show anything. She's doing it. She has a bread making instinct. Wash it and punch it. Wash it and plug it up. Yeah. And knead it like... Like cook girl. Excellent. Well, yours is ready, Akira. Make it. Put it into a nice little shape. You can make it round if you like. I'm going to put that in the oven to rise. I need to wash my hands. The thing is, bread like this in the markets, it costs like at least two quid and when I've gone into the supermarket to get a real wholesome, hearty, thick bread, they're always well expensive. So, you know, this is the price of a bag of flour, which is pretty much a quid. So, and you know, a little tub of yeast that's going to last you for ages. That's lovely. Now put it in the oven, let it show to rise. Okay, what gas mod did you say was that? No, no, it's no. So, rise. So this is the oven that we preheated. Yeah. But now we've taken it off the heat. Yeah. Put it in. Top. Quick, quick, quick. Don't the heat as the heat should Rapido, rapido. Okay. Okay. Thirty minutes just to be. Oopsie. Well, yeah, it's not really a, a timing process because it's all about looking to see how long. Okay, well, um, use your eyes, not your clock. Risen. But in case we forget. Once you've um, had this bread, you, you won't want to buy um, the supermarket varieties because um, most of them are really soft. You know, even if you get a, a wholemeal loaf, it's very soft, very spongy, doesn't have the hard consistency, doesn't have the right type of fibre to help assist you with your waste disposal, shall I say. Also, the wholemeal bread that you buy from most supermarket shops will blow you out. They'll, they'll make you like that because they're so soft. So how long does it take to uh, cook in the oven? About 30 minutes? Yeah, about 35 minutes, really. It's a quick process of kneading. W once you get used to it, it'll just be really quick, really. In the middle or down that way? Um, in the middle. Like this? Yes. But I don't oh, want it. Lovely. But I want a, no more bit. Cut it. Now, what do you want? Do you want anything on it, Akira? No. Who's going to eat it? Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Fresh bread. Mm, and you made that, Akira, didn't you? Yeah. Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. You're trying your own bread. I like you can make it yourself. Oh, clever girl. <laughs> Look, she's got the happy humming eating song thing. Do you want some, Mum? No, I'm fine, thank you very much. Mm. Warm, fresh bread. Some, Mum? Nothing better. <laughs>